here is the very very much old uh, Dell Optiplex GX110 the Pentium 3 processor computer really bad someone brought to me he is one of my friends he brought to me to rewindow it so it's difficult to do it with these machines because for sure its CD drive or CD ROM drive will not be working and there is a old style A drive also a floppy drive so what I'm going to do is I am fixing my own CD drive this is the writer actually and uh, for this machine I have a special version of Windows that is I labeled it as XP Levian edition this is somewhere from Livia somebody created and it's a good version because it's a very very much light version so this is suiting to these computers which are not good in resource now for this actually why I'm showing this because maybe you will deal with some sort of machine like this sometimes so then for that purpose I'm going to show you how to deal with so what I'm going to do is I'm connecting the this is signal cable from the monitor to CPU or CPU to monitor and then here is what is my keyboard the keyboard is like this so the upper one is labeled as keyboard no not upper one the lower one is labeled as keyboard you can see here the lower one is labeled as key keyboard so I'm going to put the keyboard in the way is this flat side should be up like this and then I'm going to put the USB the mouse the USB mouse here in a USB connector like this and then power it off power it on the power cable and the power supply like this so this is a very basic configuration for this machine and uh, now what I will do is I will have to uh, put off the cover remove the cover from the machine so that I will have access to the interior for this purpose there are buttons in the sides both sides so like this it come off making put it inside like this and then what I will have to do is I will have to see this machine very very much dusty bad enough but I'm not going to clean it instead I will window it and then Uh, we'll finish the work on this so for this purpose what I'm going to do is I'm locating the, the CD drive which is here downside as you know and this is the floppy floppy I'm not going to do anything with but the CD ROM I'm removing the ribbon cable from the IDE and then the other one for sure the power power I can get it from here this is free so what I'm going to do is I'm connecting my other extra CD ROM drive which is over here so it will be connected like this that the ribbon cable red strip should be directed to power side the power connector side so here I am going to and there is a notch also you can see this is a notch this will go but in the proper way like this and then the power connector I am going to install the for the power connector also the positive should be inside and it will go in its direction itself with zero force so now I am going to switch it on as you can see the monitor and uh, now this power button is somewhere over here uh, this one or the there is one I think this one so I am going to power it, or power it on like this and showing you what is going on it needs a F2 button for the setup so it went so what I have to do is I have to put the CD in then we will restart the machine putting the CD in the CD drive like this as you can see windows is there but windows is corrupt and it's worst so it need a re uh, the setup needs remindering. I'm going to show you. So now, what I have to do is, I have to restart it for a certain time. I have to press this button, or I have to push on the reset. Also, it can do, but with the power, I did it. 
So now I will reboot the machine with the help of uh, CD, CD-ROM support. So let us see if it is starting with the CD-ROM or the hard drive. Yeah, it needs press any key. So I am pressing any key here. But I did not do it properly. So I am doing it again. So restart it over here. Then we are going to restart the computer with a CD-ROM support. As you can see CD is there, CD is reading. And this is booting up. So here it needs press any key. Now it will come. So while it will come we will press any key. Like this. So the key had been pressed and it is telling that press any key to boot from CD-ROM. So now it is booting from the CD-ROM and uh, there are on screen instructions. I will follow them and will show you the after effect. So now you can see this is in function. The machine is booting from or uh, taking windows from the CD-ROM. What I will do is I will format it. I think so there will be one partition of the hard drive. So I will for format that one per partition. You can see a lot, lot of files it is loading. The setup is starting Windows. The last message I received. Not very final, but on this stage it is the last message, so it will start Windows. So now it is examining the hard drives. So it is asking now for the partition. So what I will do is I will delete this partition uh, to format it. So I will press D. Now it is asking that I have to delete this partition. So I will have to press enter as you can see. So I will press enter. Now it is asking for L to confirm it. So I am pressing L. So partition deleted. Now I have to create a partition. For this purpose I have to press C and the same partition size the whole hard disk I have to create a partition. So it is partitioned you can see and now what I will do is I will have to press enter to succeed to process for the windows. So I did and then of, of course it is asking for the format. So what I will do is the first one the NTFS quick I will select then enter. So now you can see the windows had been the format has been uh, started. We'll do a quick format and then we'll start Windows. So I will show the afterwards the after shoot. So it is a uh, after shot. Uh, after installing the Windows, I'm going to show you how it is coming. As you can see, almost all drivers had been installed by this computer from the Windows uh, CD, even. It's an old computer so that's why it is not needing the hardware drivers from the outside. You listen the sound. So this is what the star, star, start menu came. So what I'm going to do you, I have to show you the version which I installed. So on my computer, right click. Then of course the properties. Actually the computer is loading so that's why it's a little bit slow. Even it is slow because this is a Phantom 3 computer because we cannot expect something performance like uh, what is that the new computer i5 or i7.
really busty. So this came, as you can see, Vesmus, Vesmos is something like that. And this is, of course, the Arabian edition. You can see, the Libyan. So it's a good edition for this computer. These old computers are doing well with this. Here I'm going to show you the hardware drivers for this particular computer, the device manager and computer uh, properties. So let us see. Here all the drivers, almost all the drivers are installed for display for everything for sound and uh, each and everything had been installed for uh, networking card also. So this computer is ready for use. We will, you know, we will put some small small softwares uh, which are required to the owner and then uh, this will be finished. So thank you for watching. Keep on watching.